hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day today if you're new here welcome in today's video i have another palette from you can be for you as you have probably noticed by now i absolutely love you can be i think all of their eyeshadow palettes are spot on sometimes even better than the original if you haven't seen my review of the belonging palette and the magic spa palette Make sure to check them out because those dupes are actually better than the original and I absolutely love You Can Be. They have two palettes called Emancipation. One of them is a dupe of the Subculture palette. I have already uploaded that video not that long ago. I'm going to put it up in the info box for you to check out. Today's video is about the Emancipation palette that is a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. It doesn't have a mirror. It does come with a brush though. I've removed that brush, but it is basically really similar to the original one and most people don't use those brushes, so don't worry about that. This is how the shades look like. As you can see, it looks exactly the same as the original one. The shades don't have a name in this one because this is one of the first You Can Be eyeshadow palettes, but they are in the same order as the original pens. And oh my God, they are something out of this world. I'm not sure if the swatches show how good this dupe is because honestly swatches are one thing, applying it to your eye is another thing. This is an amazing dupe. I'm gonna show it to you compared to the original Modern Renaissance palette. Obviously that one is on the top that is like a shinier palette anyway but as you can see the shades are in exactly the same order and the pens are roughly the same size. The Modern Renaissance palette feels a lot a lot heavier because of the mirror and because of the good quality cardboard packaging it has. In reality though the You Can Be palette has almost twice as much product in it. The Anastasia palette has 0.7 grams of product for each pen while the You Can Be palette has 1.3 grams. So like I said it's almost double of what the Anastasia palette has. The Anastasia palette was made in the USA whilst Obviously, the You Can Be palette was made in the People's Republic of China. The Anastasia palette is cruelty-free. Not all shades are vegan. The Emancipation palette doesn't claim to be vegan or cruelty-free. The shelf life of the Anastasia palette officially is six months, as the You Can Be palette shelf life is 12 months. However, I've had this Anastasia palette for more than 12 months now and I'm still using it and the shades still perform just as good as first time so I wouldn't worry too much about the six months shelf life. The only thing I'm gonna say is that obviously it doesn't last forever so I would probably throw it out after two three years. This is the palette we're reviewing today. It was one of the first palettes you can be came out with. As you can see their logo still has this lady doing her makeup. I feel like the packaging was still really generic. They didn't really know where the whole thing was going but after that they became really successful and now they actually put a lot of effort into the packaging as well. So yeah I don't know what else to say. As you can see I have the two palettes on my eyes today. I tried to create a cool toned purplish halo eye look. I'm definitely not the most talented person when it comes to eyeshadow makeup looks but I think it turned out really nice and I honestly don't think you can tell which one is which one. The only thing you can probably notice is that the dark shade cypress umber on this eye is a little bit more on point, a little bit more pigmented. Spoiler alert, this one is the modern renaissance side, but I don't think this one is too bad either. So as you probably know, the modern renaissance palette retails for $43 in the USA or £43 in the UK, which is quite a lot more expensive, but what can you do? And the Emancipation palette retails, I would say, between 7 and 10 pounds, depending on who you buy it from. It being a Chinese product is available on AliExpress, 
Amazon, eBay. I'm not really sure if it's discontinued, but when I was searching for it now, I found it a little bit harder to get hold of. So they might have discontinued it, but I'm not really sure. Nevertheless, I think it's a beautiful palette. And as you can see, it comes very close to how the original one looks like. Before we jump into the application, I wanted to live swatch a couple of shades for you. Probably the shades that we won't be able to use in today's video because I want to help you to decide if it's something that you should pick up or not. So I'm going to swatch a couple of shades that we won't be using in today's video just to show you the performance. For the shiny shade, we are using Vermeer in today's video. So I'm going to swatch Primavera for you. So that is the original one. This shade in the You Can Be Palette feels really buttery, really nice. And that's it right there. I would say it's maybe a little bit more red, but really, really similar. The shininess is exactly the same. The feel of it when you touch it is exactly the same. So it's a really, really nice color. Next, let's swatch Red Ochre, which is a quite dark shade has a bit of redness to it, so it normally is a quite patchy shade. This is the original one, as you can see it's getting a bit patchy. Now let's see the Emancipation one. I hope I picked up enough product. Yeah, it's the reason it's not that pigmented is because I think I didn't pick up as much product as I did from the Modern Renaissance palette. But as you can see the color is extremely, extremely similar. Again, maybe it has a bit more purple in it than the original one does, but not patchy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Okay, and just to swatch one more, I'm gonna do Burnt Sienna, which is... After Vermeer is my second favorite shade from this palette, so we definitely have to check out that one. God, this shade is gorgeous. That's the original. And here goes the You Can Be version. Okay, so this one is the first time when the You Can Be one is actually more yellow based. The original one, I would say, is much more cool toned in this case, but still a very, very close dupe. So now, without further ado, let's jump into applying these two eyeshadow palettes on my eyes to create these halo eye looks. I definitely feel like so far this has been the best dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. So if you see this one somewhere and you're looking for a dupe, definitely check it out. Another quite good dupe that we recently had, even though it doesn't dupe every single shade, but it's just so affordable and very accessible is the Wet n Wild dupe. So Enough of the bubbling, let's jump right into the makeup look. Okay, so the more affordable palette will be on this side of the face, which is to be the You Can Bay Emancipation palette, and the more expensive palette on this side of the face, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of tempera and just apply it all over the lid because I want the next shadow to easily blend on top of this. In the You Can Be palette, the shades have no names, but they are exactly in the same order as the Anastasia palette, so it's not gonna be hard to find the same shade in this palette at all. Obviously, it's gonna be the first shade here that we're gonna use. Obviously, I can't say much about the pigmentation of this or the opacity because this shade is not supposed to really show up. The feel of it is very, very similar. They both feel really silky. They both have a really subtle sheen to them. Very similar shade to my skin tone. So there's not too much I can say about this shade. Using the same brush, we're gonna now get into applying the first color, which is gonna be Buon Fresco. This is gonna be obviously a cool toned, 
purple halo eye look so we're gonna be using all of the purple shades from this palette and just really buff it out I'm not dipping back in the pan again because I literally just wanna add some color here so let's see how far one dip into this purple shade in the You Can Be palette will take us. Okay, so I do feel like I have a bit more on the Anastasia side, but honestly nothing major. I'm gonna go back with a little bit more from the You Can Be palette because obviously we are trying to get the same look. Yeah, as soon as I go back in with a little bit more, you can build it up and now it's looking extremely extremely similar so i'm happy with that so now to start creating that halo effect i'm gonna dip into warm taupe now this one is not a lot darker and it's not exactly purple but it's just a little bit darker and cool toned so after i add the other shades to it, it's gonna look just fine. I'm gonna take the same shade from the You Can Be side. Let's see how does that look. It looks quite pigmented so far. And we are going to darken up the very corners with Cypress Umber. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Obviously it's not finished, but it is how it is for now. I'm gonna jump into the You Can Be side again. And once again, we're gonna take this darkest shade. Okay, definitely doesn't have the same impact the Anastasia shade has. You can definitely build it up, but it doesn't have that amazing pigmentation to it which is not necessarily a problem because especially if you are scared of darker colors you might want to have a bit more of a control I feel like it takes roughly the same amount of time to create this side as it did this side and now I'm gonna take the original brush again go back to Buon Fresco blend out this line a little bit and basically add that purple and then I take the same Buon Fresco shade under my eyes as well and now the same thing on this side again using the purple shade from the You Can Be palette I feel like the dark shade on this side blended out into nothing a bit easier than it did on the original side. So to put that back in, I'm gonna take some more of the dark color. And now I'm gonna take this Kat Von D white out pomade. And I will try to be as precise as possible. What I love about this white out pomade is that it's a quite dry very opaque product it doesn't really transfer anywhere and because it's so opaque you don't need a lot and now i'm gonna take the shade vermeer to apply it in the center first i'm gonna use just my finger this is literally the best shade ever and obviously do the same thing on the You Can Be side, so it's gonna be now this shade. Definitely doesn't feel as buttery, but once you apply it, the shade itself looks extremely similar. And the final color to this look, to connect the shade Cypress Umber to the shade Vermeer, is going to be antique bronze so i take some of this antique bronze shade and literally just start applying it in between the two so that's the anastasia side
done. Now let's finish the you can be side as well. So once again, I'm gonna take the same smudger brush, obviously I cleaned it already. And now we're gonna take this shade from the you can be palette. This shade again doesn't look as buttery, but hopefully it's just in the palette. As you can see, I'm applying it a bit sideways. I'm not just patting it on, but I'm trying to blend it. It's a bit hard with a smudger brush like this because it's not made for blending. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna apply some mascara, eyeliner, lipstick, not necessarily in this order to finish the makeup look. And then I'm gonna be back to show you the final look. And then I will tell you my opinion about these two palettes. Okay, so this is a finished look. I don't know guys, what do you think? I think they look identical. Like I said before, yes, the shade Cypress Umber is not as good in the You Can Be palette. So obviously it doesn't appear as dark, especially after blending it, but you can always go back and add a little bit more. So I think for the price, this is an actually amazing dupe. The shimmery shade is exactly as shimmery as the original one. Everything is the same shade, which is really rare. Normally they look the same in the pan or similar in the pan, but then they're either patchier, drier, less opaque, or just a completely different shade once you apply it to the eye. But I feel like You Can Be is really, really good with getting those shades to be exactly the same as the original one. And this palette is no different. To be honest with you, when I first started purchasing the You Can Be eyeshadow palette, the first one I had was the Belonging palette. That was amazing. And then I kept purchasing them and I always put these two emancipation palettes, the dupe for modern renaissance and the dupe for subculture to the back because I almost felt like mm, these were the first palettes they duped. They're probably not that good, but thanks God that's actually not the case. These two palettes are actually amazing. You can tell that they were the first ones just because they are not actually better than the original. Most of the You Can Be palettes are actually an improvement compared to the original palettes. Obviously from the packaging it's really hard to tell which one is which one, but the modern Renaissance has a 01 sticker on the back and the subculture has a 02 sticker. I don't think they have a dupe for the Norvina, the Soft Glam, the Riviera and the newer limited edition collab eyeshadow palettes but they have a dupe for the first two and they are honestly really gorgeous dupes so I feel like this dupe jumped right to the top and this is as of today my favorite dupe i do have one more coming i'm not sure if i'm gonna be doing more in the future i don't think so because i feel like we really exhausted the anastasia beverly hills dupes for this first four eyeshadow palettes that she's done anyways that's it for today once again i absolutely love this eyeshadow palette and as of right now this is my favorite dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. And until next time, take care of yourself. I will see you very soon. Bye.